soul family what's going on this is the phoenix cloud tarot my name is isa i'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and i'm going to be doing the darn thing for aquarius today sun moon rising venus and the cross watcher this is going to be from the 7th of march to the 15th guys and i do want to apologize i have not been well i have a lot of um stomach slash digestive issues um and i have a lot of issues with migraines and i've literally just really not been feeling well and when i'm not feeling well especially when my head and the pressure and the sinus and all the things are coming all at once you know, not being well is uh, challenging to read. So I wanted to feel a good energy again so I can get some of these readings out for you guys. So I do apologize. Um, and thank you for bearing with me. So this is going to be the reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Like I said, guys, take the messages that resonate. Leave what does not resonate for you. Don't try to make the messages fit, okay? If the messages don't resonate at all, please definitely check your moon rising and Venus. And if those don't resonate, please feel free to check another reader because there are a lot of amazing readers and I just may not have a message for you this time around, okay? Or, you know, time, energy, it's all fluid. So you might come back to this message and it resonates for you in, I don't know, a month, three weeks, two days, who knows? Okay, so let's... Uh, uh, go ahead in a minute and get started. I want to say thank you for your likes, your supports, your subscribes. And if you like this video, please go ahead and like this video. And if you really like it, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys. Um, what else do I need to say? Anything you need to know about me, um, doing readings with me, checking out my website, that kind of stuff is in the description box down below, as well as the cards that I use in the readings. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I've got a lot of energy. I just came in from being outside and I just heard Spirit say, just go ahead and do the reading. So, Aquarius, really good energy. The first card that came out is the Victory and Success card. It's a number six. So, I'm really feeling, Aquarius, that you guys have got some balance back. I feel like there's some victory you're having with reestablishing yourself. Um, in a way that maybe you haven't been giving to yourself or receiving properly or something's been off balance with you. And it could even be on a spiritual level. Why do I say that? Because the card is purple, um, representing, you know, the crown chakra, your connection with God, your connection with spirit, your connection with, you know, having a spiritual life. I feel like this could have been very challenging for you or off balance recently. And now it's feeling like it's coming more back to center here in March. I also have out the Fulfillment of Wishes. Beautiful. It's a nine. It would be like a nine of, you know, pentacles or something to that. If our nine of cups, excuse me, a nine of cups. So Fulfillment of Wishes. Um, this being green is connected with the heart chakra. So this feels like something that's connected with um, your heart, something you love, something you're passionate about, having your wishes fulfilled. This could be a relationship um, for some of you, but maybe knowing or maybe having met somebody and, and feeling like you now have the fulfillment of wishes that you wanted in a relationship or in a person or even in your heart with yourself, a uh, connection with your divine, your divine self and your heart. Okay. Beautiful energy so far. We have the four. <laughs> this is neutral energy. Um, and this is the authority card. So it almost feels like some of you are exercising an authority over things in your life. And that for me speaks into this having wishes fulfilled, regaining some balance and having victory and success. It's like stepping into authority as opposed to um, control, right? And, and not controlling things, but allowing things to happen, allowing things to unfold and uh, exercising authority, which is a, a bit of a different distinction than having power and control over something. Okay. Um, not only that, but it being a four has a lot to do with, uh, the home, right. Um, and stability. So there's, there's some sort of reestablishment or some grounding here in stability or the home life. Okay. So it feels to me like some of you could have been really challenged, uh, with your own self and in a situation that has to do with your home, okay? But let's get into the reading and see what kind of energy we have coming up for the next week and a half here 
until the 15th spirit what are the messages you want Aquarius to know what are the things that Aquarius needs to know for Aquarius's highest good spirit messages for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus and the cross watcher <laughs> All right, Spirit, what are we going to talk about today for Aquarius? Oh, coming out with this Seven of Swords, guys. Come on. Woo! This cars is flying. All righty. What are the messages you need Aquarius to know, Spirit? I mean, these cards are like flipping out. Flipping. All righty. <clears throat> all right let's go ahead and get an overall energy for you guys okay spare what is the overall energy for aquarius sun moon rising venus and the cross watcher here march 7th to the 15th please overall energy of this reading for aquarius thank you so much ah <laughs> The star card, of course, Aquarius, the star and the seven of cups. Wow. So overall energy, I, I, I feel two scenarios here. One scenario is Aquarius rising above your confusion and your illusion. And for some of you, I feel like Aquarius, you have a lot of options. OK, and you're very much like in in your energy. Um having that that hope that hope for the clearing of illusion and that hope that there are other options for you that there are things that there are other fulfilling cups that you have the option to choose if that makes any sense okay guys so we're coming out with the seven of swords some aquarians here could be walking excuse me let me adjust this Walking or sneaking away from something. Some of y'all might be trying to get away from something. Some of you could have secrets or somebody in your energy could have secrets. This is the swords card. So it is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Okay. Next to it, we have movement, lots of movement, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it could be that some of you are moving away from something um, that could feel very by the book have a lot of rules uh it could also be represent a marriage or some type of relationship it could be a serious relationship for some of you this could also represent communicating uh very clearly a message to somebody that you may be in a relationship you may be feeling like it's time for you to move on right now or have a conversation with somebody about um the way you would like to have things go okay because the hierophant can um can be like a pope uh you know leadership spirituality wisdom okay so you might be talking to other people about your situation right now about wanting to maybe move forward walk away from something um trying to make a wise decision uh, for some of you, you could be leaving some things behind too. So I see that there could be a couple of different things going on here. For some of you, as I said before, Aquarius, I feel like you're trying to leave some things behind. Okay. And maybe take a more authoritative position in your life. Like I said, we had the authority card and we have the Hierophant here. Um, and using wisdom on a different level. Okay. Why? Because something's changing here. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Tens represent endings and new beginnings. Pentacles are Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. They're very Earth energy. And next to it, you have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. This could represent you going back and forth with something. This could represent you maybe not trying to let the left hand know what the right hand's doing it, so for some you could be maybe hiding something maybe even hiding away some money um hiding the fact that you're trying to make a decision here or that you're having two minds about something whatever this is could be an emotional decision for some of you if you look very closely there's water behind there okay 
there's water behind there. So there's some sort of emotion coming along with this back and forth that you've been doing, okay? I feel for some of you it has to do with stability and relationship. You've been going back and forth about a relationship, maybe whether or not this is worth it for you to stay in or continue in. Okay, for some it could be a serious relationship, a marriage. You could live with somebody. That's my cat, Lady Sassy Pants. All right. Uh, but the energy we have here is the King of Cups, right? So we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, emotional energy. Somebody who's feeling emotional, uh, but emotional stability, okay? You could be going back and forth in your emotions. And I think maybe Aquarius, what you really want is to feel emotionally stable. Whatever's been happening is throwing you off. So maybe you've felt maybe emotionally and financially unstable. Um, and I think you guys have been trying to rebalance and, and ground yourself again, okay? Because I don't think this has e been easy for you to go through. I think there's been a lot of confusion. There's been some illusion. <laughs> you might have been doing it to yourself. Uh, some of you might have a lot of options. Some of you might have been experiencing even temptation right now to kind of walk away from a situation. But I think many of you are thinking about, is this worth my emotional investment? Is this worth uh, me staying here and seeing what's, what's going to happen? Okay, like, am I going to remain stable? And will I have a good emotional outcome if I stay in this? Okay. But I think some of you are having some victory over this. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify, Spirit. What are the messages you want to clarify here for Aquarius summarizing Venus and the Cross Watcher March 7th through the 15th, please? Clear messages for Aquarius. <clears throat> now Aquarius this could be you this could also be somebody in your energy feel free to reverse the roles you know what the situation is for yourself and I always ask you guys to hang out as long as you can to watch the readings because you never know what's actually going to come up in the reading in the 28 minutes or 32 minutes or however long this is going to be okay why is the seven of swords here what is this walking away what is this sneaking away or dishonesty somebody here might not be honest here what is this okay two cards came out all righty <laughs> I don't I'm just making noises guys you know what I'm saying okay so we have out the death Scorpio energy okay and we have out the six of Pentacles okay uh, Capricorn Virgo Taurus earth energy again like I said before I feel like you guys, you know, with this, with this death, there's, there's a transformation here. Okay. For somebody, some, somebody's got some fixed energy. They want to get away from something that's not working for them. Okay. I think they have a lot of options, whoever this is yourself or somebody in your situation. I don't know that this person is happy. I feel like they feel like they're conforming to something. Somebody feels like this is hard. They have to conform. They have to do too much. Okay. Um, and they're deciding that they want uh, their emotional happiness or emotional stability here. For some, I feel like there may have been some things going on in a situation, in a relationship. You've been communicating your unhappiness, wanting to walk away from the situation, but I feel as if there's something transforming here, right? And it's this, it's this, maybe this mistrust, this dishonesty, this sneaking away, this walking away, this doing something behind somebody's back, either you or somebody in your energy, things are transforming, right? Six of Pentacles, there might have been some imbalance here, like I said before, where we had that victory and success is a six, same thing. Somebody's giving too much, giving too little, not giving enough. This could be you or somebody in your energy, okay? But this is changing. This feels like this is changing. There's some communication happening here. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. What's this Eight of Wands energy about, please? For Aquarius, Tower. 
Uh, and I got another card here. So tower, yeah. Something is changing and it has to do, here's tower. Anytime we have the tower, right, this is a sudden change, a sudden shakeup. So I feel like having a conversation here is creating a sudden shakeup, right? Maybe the truth comes out here. Maybe there is just a hard conversation that you needed to have, communication. You may have even been putting distance between yourself and somebody else, or they're putting distance between you. Okay, so maybe not communicating. You guys haven't been talking. But what this tower is bringing, anytime something is taken down, it gives us the opportunity to rebuild something. So a tower is not a terrible card. Things have to happen, and sometimes we need to break down that structure that we've built, right? Either in our minds, we get a solid idea or a belief in something, and we have to tear that down so we can rebuild something else. What are we rebuilding? What's coming in? Bam! Some love, okay? So we're rebuilding the structure of love here, Aquarius, from what I'm seeing. This is the Knight of Cups. This dude is like, let me give you my heart, okay? So something was going on here, Aquarius. I feel like either you or somebody else was having a serious imbalance, a serious imbalance. You weren't giving anything or enough or they weren't giving anything or enough. There was back and forth. There was a lot, maybe some sneaking around, some dishonesty happening, and then boom, death card and boom, a tower card. So possibly a conversation here that's happening that creates this moment, but some this is transforming. Whatever this relationship is, it's transforming. It's transforming into something that's loving. Somebody is ready now to give a cup, okay? Oh, Lordy, why we got the Hierophant? Don't ask me why I do stuff like that, guys. I have no clue. All right, Spirit, why is the Hierophant here, please? What's this Hierophant about? Why is the Hierophant here for Aquarius? King of Wands. Woo! I don't know that I like it, but okay. Aquarius, so it feels like for some of you, you just wanted to be single. You want to be single. Maybe you want to give your cup of love to somebody else. For others of you that are in a relationship, I feel like there is some imbalance. Things are changing and you're trying to rebuild this, okay? Maybe coming with some fire, maybe coming with some passion, maybe reigniting something here. For others of you, you might be trying to walk away from this and give your cup to somebody else and be single, okay? Because this dude could be the play, 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 okay, okay, okay. All right? <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so like I said, I do see a couple of scenarios here, okay? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here, Spirit? What's the Ten of Pentacles about in this situation for Aquarius? Queen of Pentacles. So Earth Energy, this is all about commitment. So for some of you, I feel like you're making a passionate new recommitment, not only in a relationship, but I feel like this is attached to your 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 spiritual life as well okay so some of you could have really been thinking about like maybe your detachment okay somebody here could have been dealing with a lot of ego okay very focused and centered on themselves i feel like now what's happening there's been this ta there's this tower that's happening here in March. There's a conversation, there's a breaking down, and it's not just it's not just the taking the relationship back to the beginning, which is what this feels like for some people. This is about Aquarius taking this back to the beginning for an Aquarius as well, okay? This could also be the other person in your energy, so keep that in mind. This is that queen, right? <clears throat> clarifying this ten of pentacles this is like having it all this is having what you want we had that fulfillment of wishes card attached to that heart energy remember that that's what this feels like aquarius either you or the other person could be feeling like you're that you're that person you're you are they they know or you now know this is your person you're ready and willing to commit. I think that some 
buddy here is may, maybe could have had a lot more masculine energy, if that makes sense, which would which would make sense with for me with this fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And there's been a need to kind of rebalance with the with the divine feminine, okay? Because we all hold the divine feminine and the divine masculine within us. Someone may have been very authoritative, very, you know, all of these rules, right? And very egoic and knowing that I this needs to change. Either you or the other person, okay? In order for whatever relationship this is to work. All right. So here we have commitment. This feels a lot like a recommitment. It's this understanding now that I have what I'm looking for. I've reached my 10. And, and knowing now that I've, I've got my 10, what am I going to do with it? I'm going to commit. She's all about the home family commitment. She's a married woman. Okay. So for some of you, I feel like there's a possibility you may have wanted to, like I said, walk away from a relationship, maybe even a marriage for some of you. You may have done something like gone to counseling, okay, with this Hierophant. It could represent somebody like that who has another wisdom that can support you in making positive changes. But there's these hard conversations that are being had here in March in order to get this re-establishment, rebalance in this relationship. When we do that, when we create a rebalancing in any kind of relationship, whether it's a friendship or parents, a love relationship, it takes us doing that work. You know, it's not always about the other person. We have to assume responsibility for our part in whatever is being created in our life. <laughs> and it's not just me, 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 or you, you, you. It's us, us, us. Okay, so I think that's happening here from what I'm feeling. What is this Two of Pentacles about, Spirit? Why is this Two of Pentacles here? Well, that flipped right over. The Chariot. This is making a decision and moving forward. Someone's making a decision here and moving forward. Okay, I don't think this was an easy decision to make. I think it was emotional. But what I'm feeling here is that somebody's getting something about them, about the relationship, about maybe their uh, power struggle, their ego, uh, their flirtatiousness for some. It could be a lot of different things. They're, you know, this person here doesn't want to be single anymore they want to commit to this relationship so we could be dealing with a situation where either you Aquarius or somebody in your energy was not ready to commit may have been in a relationship you know uh, and it's transforming here okay there's like a clear deciding and that makes a lot of sense to me with the star card being out it's like you in your energy, that hope, that new beginning, that blessing. This is divinely watched over. You're divinely watched over, Aquarius. Okay. Removing the veil. Removing the veil for some. For others, I feel like there was too much bull crap. There was too much BS. What you really want, financial stability, home life stability, commitment. You want to give your cup to somebody else. You're ready to be single. You're ready to move on. You've made the decision. Okay. So some Aquarius are moving on and other Aquarius are working this out. All right. Just so we're clear. All right. Tell me why the King of Cups is here, spirit, please. Why is a King of Cups up in here? Okay. Strength. Bam. Guys, I'm seeing... So let's talk about this for a second. This could be any one number of people you could be dealing with, okay? I'm seeing a lot of fire energy here. So you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. I'm seeing a lot of Cancer Pisces Scorpio, all right? Here you have the strength card. So for the people who are going to move on, you are gathering your courage. You're taking your loyalty. You are moving on. You want to be emotionally stable with somebody, okay, and you want to move forward. For others of you, Aquarius, you could be dealing with um, a Leo. This is about having that courage to love 
again this is maturity emotional maturity okay this is strength this is this is loyalty right this is different than the person who started this the person who started this was like, what the hell? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what I want. Ah, do I go back for these swords? Ugh, I got this stuff in the past that's still just chilling here, okay? But something has to die. Something has to end. Something has to transform. The death card represents that transformation for, for some Aquarius here, all right? We had that Knight of Cups like I talked about. This is younger than this king it's a different energy this is somebody who's young wants to give their heart blah 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 whatever okay right but this person knows how to love now this person knows what their heart wants right this person knows and they've matured they now have the courage they now have the strength they now have the loyalty that they didn't have before okay they now have the loyalty that they didn't have before. So Aquarius, this is either you or a person in your energy, okay? Some of you are going to make this relationship work and others of you are going to move on from this relationship because it hasn't been serving you. But not only that, I think that there are some Aquarius with this relationship. I don't know that you are ready for this. And you weren't maybe ready to put the work in. It just kind of started snowballing and snowballing. And you just said, fuck it. It's snowballing. I'm over it. I, I'm not ready. I got all this other stuff going on. I'm going to focus on work. You know, I'm going to focus on work, stability, doing me right out here being single, doing my thing. Um, and I'm going to move forward. I've made the decision to move forward. Um, and you know, I need to figure out my, what I really love, my emotional security, whatever that is for me, be strong, be courageous and go forward. Okay. And then there's the others that are working this out. So really, really good read so far, guys. I want to go here to the psychic tarot of the heart and see if there are any other messages here for Aquarius regarding this spread before we wrap it up looks like a big decision for you guys i think you've been thinking about this a lot the swords do represent the thoughts but i feel like many of you are trying to take action now so here in march you're trying to take action some of you may have had a very skewed way of seeing things seeing relationships maybe as burdens you know like people say that stuff and don't realize that when we talk about relationships like the ball and chain the old lady you know like um when we see things a certain way we we actually create that in the relationships it becomes that the more we say it the more we think it the more it actually begins to manifest in a relationship or in our lives i'm broke uh, I don't have enough money. I don't get paid enough. Like, and then all of a sudden you start noticing your money's gone all the time, right? So like really think about that. Think about language, your thoughts and the vibration that you create and send out into the universe. It's important. Thank you, Spirit. Any messages here for Aquarius, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. It's funny, they keep shooting everywhere. Holy crap. <clears throat> I've got a bunch of chakra, actual chakra energy cards here. I've got two. I've got the second, the sacral chakra, and I've got the solar plexus. So some of you could be experiencing these two chakras being off. These are attached to um, sexuality. Uh, some of you may not have been having sexual relations or you're a little too excited. Let's just put it that way. Some of you might have a lot of like sexual energy, okay? Or that could be something that has been an issue here in this relationship. Also, we have willpower and identity going on here. Willpower and identity, okay? But this is reproductive. Somebody could have some issues with... Uh, their menstrual cycle, reproduction, uh, even, you know, getting an erection. I, I'm just saying, guys, you know, I'm not trying to be nasty here. It is what it is, okay? This deals with this area here, okay? But that energy, like I said before, 
um, you know, also has to do with that, maybe even sexual abuse. Somebody may have suffered some sexual abuse and maybe some of that stuff was coming through here. What, what I'm getting at here is these areas, if they're blocked, overloaded, if they're too open, right, they can create issues. They can create issues. So here we've got willpower. Somebody may be commanding too much, right? commanding too much or being too, um, uh, not authoritative, but, you know, bossy and arrogant, right? Because there's a lack of power, a lack of, you know, self-respect, willpower, whatever it is, and a need to control, okay? So we have those two. <clears throat> So for rebalancing those guys, you can look up different things on YouTube that will support you when it comes to sound vibrations. Those work really well. You can also wear or look at the colors yellow or orange and eat those kinds of fruits and vegetables, right? You can do chakra meditations. You can wear or keep specific stones around you that will help support your chakras like citrines, um, even uh, maybe carnelian I think you can use. Okay, so, um, and certain aromatherapies, right? You never know which one's going to work for you, so take a look. Take a look and see what will work for you. Okay, so guys, here's what we have. Neutral energy, listen. I don't think this is just for you, Aquarius. I think this is about listening, about going within and listening to yourself, listening to your heart. I think this is also about being in a place where you can listen to other people, listening to spirit, listening to your helpers, your angels, your guides, right? Listening to your partner, whatever the situation is for you, okay? But this is about listening, not just hearing somebody say something, but truly listening from a different space. Because when, when we listen, when we hear something, we respond by, by speaking, okay? <laughs> when we listen, that means we're quiet and, and reflective about what somebody's saying. It gives an opportunity for another person to have power and vulnerability, okay? That could be missing here too. That could be missing here too for somebody. Power, you know, like vulnerability, right? We then got choose your battles. That means use your wisdom. Choose wisely what it is you're fighting for. Some of you are fighting for this relationship. Some of you are deciding I'm not fighting for this relationship. It doesn't have the value and the stability that I'm looking for. And that's perfectly okay. Aquarius, you can go ahead and move on. Do you, you know what I'm saying? All right, but this is about choosing your battles wisely, using higher power, higher wisdom with this purple color, okay, representing the crown chakra. Nine is the seek card. I feel like, and it's neutral energy, I feel like a lot of Aquarius are in a very deep seeking the truth for myself, right, or the person that's in your energy, seeking truth, seeking peace, seeking love, okay, um, but you see here, there's two birds here seeking freedom in relationship, but to a degree where it's not damaging a relationship, like understanding that two people can be in a relationship and have lives and walk a path together. Okay. Holding hands. It's not, we become one person and that's us, right? So maybe some of you, are, you know, are really seeking the truth about your own personal deeper truth the truth about love and relationships and the truth about your path like what's my path right now i feel that energy coming through for you guys and now we have the nine this goes along with the wishes the fulfillment of the wishes the fulfillment of the wishes all right and this is the dreams coming true the power of the universe the power to make anything happen is in your hands. Like I said before, be careful about the language you use and the energy behind the words that you use. This goes for anybody. It's not just Aquarius. It's whoever's watching this, okay? Knowing that you have the ability vibrationally to create whatever you want. So what do you choose to create? Your dreams 
come true because you believe in them, because you speak into them, because you create the vibration that creates, you know, creates a space for the dreams to happen and to come true. But first you have to decide that you want that. And if you haven't decided that you want something, you can't create anything just by talking about it. You have to really decide. You ever want something and you're like two minds about it? You doing this? You doing this right here back and forth? You can't do that when you want to really create something and make a dream come true. So if this relationship for you, Aquarius, for those of you who want to make this happen, is a dream come true, you hold the key to that too, as well as the person who's actually in the relationship with you. And this is green. It is focused on the heart chakra, right? The things that are in our heart are dreams. We can make them come true. I think your dreams are coming true. I think they've already come true. The thing is, is that sometimes the things we want are right there <laughs> and we convince ourselves that that's not it, right? Because y'all just... Y'all be killing me. All right. Um, I'm going to use this. What is this called? These are Love Oracle cards by Island Time Wellness. I don't think I have this below. But these are like, you know, love situation cards. So I want to get a couple of cards. I want to get like two cards here for each situation. If I can, Spirit. Any messages you have here regarding this spread. And love for Aquarius as we close it up for March. Any messages here for Aquarius, please, regarding this spread for love? Ah, healing heart. <sighs> Aquarius! Ah! Okay. I got it out. All right, Aquarius, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Aquarius, I'm going to say this to you and to your cross watcher, whoever might be, whoever's watching this. It's your job to heal your heart. Do you see that she is sewing her own heart? It's your job to heal your heart. It's not anybody else's job. So if you go into a relationship expecting somebody else to fix the shit that's broken, it's not going to happen. It's nobody else's responsibility for healing but our own. Okay, we can look to friends and family and whatever for support, right? But at the end of the day, we live with ourselves. So that's our responsibility. I feel that some of you Okay, in either situation here, the ones walking away or the ones in in choosing to stay and work out a relationship, I feel like, you know, even if it's a toxic situation, you have the ability to heal it. They have the ability to heal it. That's how relationships heal is when two people do their work and they agree together, we're no longer going to create a toxic situation here. Somebody here could have, had, could have had some addiction, addiction issues, <laughs> if I could talk, addiction issues. Um, like I said before, feeling, you know, confined, right? Believing that a relationship is a confinement of your freedom, which is really super important to uh, Aquarius or have been carrying heartache maybe from another relationship. It's your job to heal that. Okay, I think some of you are going to walk away from the relationship because you're choosing to he to heal that. Um, and some of you will stay and you will be doing your own healing and healing this relationship as well, because nothing is ever lost. The only thing that's ever lost is the way we think about things. So, right, like we always have room and opportunity to change how we view things, how we live our life and how we think things. Never, ever for a moment forget that anything can change in a moment, including a person's heart or their mind. OK, all right. Don't ever forget that. I just had to just throw that little tidbit in there. Okay, so it's been an amazing reading for you guys. I am wishing you all the best, Aquarius. It looks like there's some stuff coming in March. I don't think it's for some it's going to be easy, but, you know, in time, time will heal everything. And for others of you, I think it's great that you're going to work this out.
All right. So I will be seeing you guys sometime around the 15th. Fingers crossed. Everything's going to be good with me and I'll be feeling well like I am today. Thank you so much, Aquarius. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and like it. And if you really like it, please go ahead and subscribe, guys. I will see you later. Bye.